All right. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Jeff. I'm Beth. Cameras over there. Oh, yeah. Eyes over here. Over there. Eyes up here. <laughs> Eyes up here. <laughs> Hey, okay, all right. I'm Charlie. So, all right. Welcome to uh, another addition to our live stream. We're going to do something different. I know we're done with our uh, um, bourbon, brawl. bourbon brawl, and we'll get back to it uh, here in the next week or two. But uh, we just want to change things up just for our own uh, sanity. So, mm -hmm. we are going to go over some. I've never. I, let's see here. I don't think I've had this, have I? I don't know. Why, I don't know. So, we got so some budget. I think um, I've had this. Really? I've, I know I've had that, but okay. I don't think I've had these two. Uh, we've had some, but oh, it's in the camera way too. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's go like that. Nope. What? What are you doing? I, I was afraid you were going to mark your glasses. No, they can't. The, the people can't see. Oh, okay. Well, we'll tell them what it is. Okay. So, um, all right. All right. Cool. So, um, anyways, uh, we're going to try these uh, shelfers. Is this a shelfer? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, they are, if you can't see them, uh, like I can't, um, benchmark uh, single barrel. I've I've never had this, believe it or not. Ever. I haven't either. Are you serious? Mm -mm. Nope. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably had it uh, <clears throat> um, out there, but very old Barton, I think it was $13. I thought it read very old bourbon. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was like, not for 13 bucks. No. And then Beth, you brought that one. What's that one? So it's Lead Slingers whiskey, bourbon whiskey. Um, they are out of Oklahoma. It's veteran owned, veteran. Okay. And so first responders, veterans uh, got together and um, they make this bourbon. Okay. And then Rebel 100, you're a fan favorite of that. I am, yes. This is a Lux uh, row bottle. Yes. Yep. So um, we're going to score them so like we normally do, but uh, we're not going to battle it out or anything like that. But it's just something that. Uh, We've, we just want to change it up today. Yeah. and then maybe we'll have a, a surprise uh, bottle opening that we haven't. Usually we'll grab something that we haven't opened yet. Um, I'm not sure what that would be, but we'll figure maybe it out. Maybe he'll let me pick. Oh, uh, man, that'd be scary. <laughs> Are there quite a few things on here you haven't had? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, well. well. And I haven't really looked under here or under here, so I don't know what you got going on. Okay. Well, we'll let Beth pick. All right. So, anyways, um, Bob is uh, um, not with us again um, this evening. Uh, he will be back soon. Uh, and unfortunately, we have Phil here. Yeah. Phil and Jeff. Phil and yes. yes. So, good thing we pay him by the hour. <laughs> Maybe by the glass. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pay you by the hour. Just, it's a little cheaper. I don't get paid. But how's that happen? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, another thing uh -oh. is we will do a special bottle tonight because we have a special announcement to make in case uh, some of you all haven't noticed. Do you remember what it is? I do remember what it is. Well, would you like to tell the folks at home what we what we achieved lately? We mm -hmm. hit 1,000 subscribers. Yes. We should have made a bit more big of a deal of like a whatever. But we I should, have, should have like... Yeah. So, but yeah, um, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. A uh, thousand subscribers. Um, that was, uh, I don't know. Honestly, that wasn't our, you know, intent uh, from the get go. We just wanted to um, create a bourbon channel just to talk talk about, um, you know, all types of bourbons and then uh, sprinkling some sports there uh, every now and then. So, but uh, I appreciate Jeff, uh, who's new uh, to the show, but you're about. Uh, what, like your fourth show, probably? Yeah, fourth or fifth, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then Beth's been here since Christmas time. Yeah. Oh, no, before that, right after Thanksgiving. You yeah. started our December shows. That's correct, yes. And that's when everything started to spike. <laughs> yeah, that's when we really took off. So, well, apparently, there's this live stream. It's a joke. On... It's a joke. No, but you know what? There was this live stream on uh, Baker Drinks, uh, which, by the way, we're going to have them as a guest. Um uh, for Thursday, we're actually going to record it tonight, uh, but you guys will see it on Thursday. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of them, uh, head over to their channels, Baker Drinks. Uh, they've been doing this for quite a while. Um, it, yeah, they're doing five and six hour yes. freaking live streams. Well, I would say about I would say about four or five hour uh, live streams, but uh, um, they're they're pretty good. They're 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 yeah, they're pretty good out over there, and they they have some very nice bottle reviews. Yeah, they do. So uh, if you haven't checked them out, uh, please do. Um, but in the meantime, we are going to get to our blinds and um, not really blinds, but yeah. our pores. Because we can see them. Yes. And then uh, 
let's uh let's see what we got is that brand new yeah let's see i take that off so um so a lot of you guys are probably familiar with benchmark single barrel uh which is a buffalo trace product you can find any of these on your local shelves um if i'm not if i'm not mistaken let me get the price of these do you remember how much these were uh which one oh, oh, that's yeah. What the that's hell? like apple cider. <laughs> Give me your good god, that is pure water. Give me your C. Oh man, that's not good. Oh boy. We should have these poured out earlier, but you know, that's us. We don't um Damn, are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> we don't uh prepare very much. Here, I'll let you pour that for yourself. I didn't even we didn't, get to, we didn't get to a thousand for nothing. That's right. <laughs> maybe that's what they like. The that's fact right. that they can relate. Yeah, maybe. Like that, well, maybe. Christine said, I don't know if she's watching because... Uh, um, Where does this go? She's got... A, that's A. What is this? C? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. She's got something she's got going on early in the morning, but she said last week when she was watching, she drank three, three glasses of bourbon. No kidding. <laughs> that's my girl. Uh, that's $25, by the way, at the benchmark. Um, single barrel. And then very old Barton. Is that 80 proof? What's the proof on that? 100 proof. Oh. Hmm. I wonder where I got that. Uh, by the way, I took my eye watch off so y'all <laughs> type up on the screen instead of texting me. I think that was like... Uh, I bought that in Kentucky. I think that was like 15 bucks. It was real. It was like, it was in the teens. Yeah. Okay. Um, very cheap. Where's the cork? Oh. It's in my hand. This B? Yeah. That's not even a These are twisties. Is anyone? Oh, two of those guys. Go, 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 go. It's starting to get real. <laughs> you poured C for me. I did. The hell? There's anything in here? First, you were bitching that no, 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 it was like I'm water. Gonna you, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to go very well. I've had it, so I already know the answer. Let me ask you this. Do you like that better than Can Evan we Wade? not comment this week? What are you talking to? People are, Christine. Oh, tell her to go on. Well, yeah. People are, are commenting. That's right. It is tax day. Mm. Hey, pay taxes. Uh, if you haven't already, sorry. If not, start running. I got, a, I got an email from my accountant at 1130 last night saying, Got your email. <laughs> Nothing like waiting until the last minute. Yeah. Hey, oh, Hovercraft here. Haber, oh, Habercraft or Hover? Hovercraft. 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 Do you know who that is? Oh, here, hey. proceed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Now we can appreciate start. Appreciate it. Now we can start. So I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Very good. So we're going to start with class A. Which one is this? That would be the. All right. Uh, I'm going to watch this. Short. People said they can't comment on this. I'm not sure what to do. If you're using your iPhones, for some of you all, I'm going to tell you something. Here's how you all do it. He's going to walk us through it. We're trying a new format. And yeah. we may not be using this format again. If <laughs> so, Tracy, am I, Chrissy, am I watching the wrong Yeah, the chat should be at the very bottom right here. So, I don't know. Christine, I'm, can you hear me? Text me and tell me that you're watching the right show. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Who is that? Well, use it then. Who are you talking to? Chad. Oh. See, it's working. Hi, it's working. Jesse said it's working. We ain't dumb, Tim. Oh. Tim is hovercraft. Oh, interesting. Oh. Well, now we can proceed. Instead of his last name, which right. apparently we're not allowed to mention because he's. And you going to come to our May 4th uh, bottle okay. blind? Okay, yeah, it's working. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, what's, I'm going to write this down again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Right. This what? is. Benchmark. Benchmark. Single barrel. Benchmark. What's B? That would be your uh, old, very old Barton. <laughs> very old bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, shit. That That's that lead slinger. Why are you going to... It looks like apple cider. I said that. You wouldn't have said that I had. You're right, but it looks like ass. How's that? <laughs> I don't know what kind of asses you're looking at, but... <laughs> very clear ass. The last one's Rebel. Okay. Oh, hey, before we do get started, I want to say this. Someone, was it Christine or somebody brought up a good idea last week? And um, I haven't figured out the cost. I haven't figured out the cost yet, but we're going to do it. Um, ooh, I just thought I'm going to tie this in. 
So um, we are going to come up with an amount where we don't want we don't want to sit there and make money off of. But we just definitely don't want to do that at a loss. But, but we you will, can add a, a tip in if you. Don't. Yes, but we're going to send you guys some blinds uh, in the future, and then we're going to do the same ones, and then we'll all blind them together on a live stream. Yeah. Um, so we got to figure out and coordinate uh, how that's going to do. Um, but I think it is doable, um, especially if we cap it off to a certain amount of people uh, doing that. So yeah, around um, twenty people or so. Yeah, yeah. So I found a shipping company that is uh, legit. Well, it's legit, but it's cheaper than okay. um, me going. I don't want to get in trouble sending stuff in the mail. Can I? No one's watching. So here, let me. <laughs> it's let me, pickles. We're sending uh, homemade okay. pickles. Right. You know how I do that. So here's here's how you guys ship. Uh, <laughs> But no one's watching. Oh, we got a few. All right, but no one from the government's watching. Oh. Anyways, so your husband's not watching. Oh, he doesn't watch. So basically, here's how you ship. Okay, I'll say it this way. Here's how you ship liquid. All right. Yeah. You go ahead and put it in the wine box, and I put it in those um, airbags, mm -hmm. and you make sure it's all pumped up and everything. But the key is when you wrap it up and you seal it and you ship it. You're obviously if you swig it around, you can hear the you can hear the jostling. Mm -hmm. right? So I go to Walmart and I buy like a two pound um, box of macaroni, and you just sprinkle macaroni in there, and it makes all the noises. Mm -hmm. So when you take it to the kiosk, we're taking the UPS. Um, I don't like taking the UPS because they start asking questions. And, and you don't want to lie. I don't want while wanna... you're breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I use a kiosk. But I'm still shipping water. Yes, I want to say homemade pickles. Now, homemade pickles. So. When I ship these homemade pickles, uh, all they can hear is the macaroni. Yeah. And uh, the lady up front, like, what is this in here? Um, when I first did it, and I put it to the counter, or I, I uh, took it to the counter, I just told her it was a, uh, it was a toy for my grandson. Mm. But then she looked at me like, I think it's broken. <laughs> like, it's fine. Coffee beans. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, why wouldn't I package the coffee beans, though? Like, I mean, you can hear it hit the to, box. To to uh, stifle the smell of marijuana. And cocaine. <laughs> so anyways, if you ever want to ship pickles, that's how you do it. There you go. <laughs> tip from your good old Uncle Charlie. <laughs> All right, I like the smell on this. It's, not, it's got a nice well, nose. It's got a nice nose. Well, I mean, it is, it's a Buffalo Trace product. You know, but <coughs> single barrel, I don't know which weller version this would be all right this is the watered down version is it what is this what proof is it Oof. what is it 95 proof okay it's not a uh it's i think it's kind of watery it's proofy but that's all it is it's what proofy it's proofy but there's not a whole lot of taste to it no it's like rubbing alcohol not that I, you know, drink a lot of rubbing alcohol. The smell well, great though. Yeah, but, like, honestly, I mean, in all honesty, that I mean, that is our first sip of anything. So, you. we'll come back to that. Well, you have okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is my no, first like, sip like, like yeah. Bob does, and he likes to go back. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, and Bob, if you're on here, cheers, my friend. Cheers, Bob. Wow, this has got a nice smell to it. This very old Barton. Smell that thing. Very old bourbon. <laughs> I know. Smell it. Mm. Oh, see, you don't like it. No, I don't like it. Why? I, it's like almost a... floral, perfumey. Is it too sweet? Yeah. It, the first one I like, but then you get more it into it. Good. Mm -mm. It's, no, it's got like a real musty, earthy smell to it for me. I think it's like floral. <laughs> I, I think it's that crap you do. <laughs> me? <laughs> Listen, sir, I'm not the one with heavy ADHD. No offense to anybody who has it. No, he's not medicated. <laughs> we tried to do uh, ADHD whiskey, but something um, it was already taken. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I think, oh, my. That's, I a, think, oh. that's a fifteen dollar bottle. <laughs> I don't know they're talking about you. That's right. That might be worse than Field of Dreams. <laughs> well. I try to, I mean, I try to fake it there. I couldn't do it. I can't. Uh -huh. We're supposed to be honest about stuff. How do you guys like this stuff? I'm not even writing down a number. People, people say I it's know. good. I know. Well, people are wrong. 
I know. Oh. I now know why I never had it. <laughs> Damn, this is totally illegal. Not to ship uh, pickle juice. It's totally legal. This legal. is oh, totally legal? legal. Legal. Oh, really? In Ohio. Oh, you know what it is? It is. It's, you know why? I'm sorry. Uh, as long as I don't have a liquor license, it's, le it's legal, which is odd. I can't be a liquor store. Oh, really? I can be an individual. So you can ship it, no problem. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Tim, so right. screw the macaroni. So can I? Yeah, but you know what? It's not bad me? because I rather keep the macaroni in there because <clears throat> I don't want uh, <clears throat> somebody opening it up and taking your shit. Thank you. Well, so oh. keep the macaroni in there. But God, uh, that was foul. <laughs> That's so Give me a pretzel out of here. Oh, I get I'm not feeling up. Like, uh, okay, leg. Just that's on your tongue. You don't want to scratch it. It's not going to get much better from there. All right, this nose is this oh. nose is worse. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> there you wanna Dude, this, this nose is worse. So, you brought it? Okay, but I didn't say it was good. I just brought it. Oh sorry, Susan. God boy. Oh, I like it? honest to God, like this makes me want to puke. You didn't even taste it. You gotta it taste don't matter, it. man. It does. Where's you gotta that, taste it. Where's that Jeff the Creek? Oh. I bet that this smells like this is like malted barley. Mm. This is Thin blue line bourbon whiskey, 80 proof. Jesus Christ. Founded in 2013. Wow. Hey, I'm all about first responders. I, I, I am too, but my God. Oh, let's stick to saving people. Like, I'll need a first responder to, re to revive my ass. Thanks uh -oh. to the military. Appreciate all that, honestly. But Texas. Did you do it? Uh -huh. I, did. I don't know if they give any of did their. Did you do it? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm a watch now. Have you had Rebel 100 before? Yes. Is, we should have, do this? this is phenomenal. Oh, we should have done a Cahoots game and the winner gets oh. a bottle of this. <laughs> Does anybody know what Cahoots is out there, by the way? I do because yes. my boss made me play it at Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cahoots is fun. <laughs> yeah. If you get a good quarrel, it's not as bad. <laughs> the smell. Okay. Here's why it's not bad. Because there's no taste. There's nothing. No, there is. No, there's nothing to it. It's like drinking water. This and this. It's pretty similar. I mean, it's not great, but I mean, there's a hard I had end. worse. There's not enough taste on it for it to be so bad. It's just pure water. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why did we do this? I think I'm looking at the Jeffrey Creed out. And what other backwards have we had? Uh, well, Castle and Key. You won't let us drink it. No, I won't let you open that one. Which is fine. I understand that. You had to get some shitty ones over there. You know what else? We Je have that another? Jefferson's Ocean that I brought. That Jefferson's that I brought. Oh, uh, yeah. That's got awful. We're going to see how bad we can uh, do this. Check ourselves. I'm not doing it anymore. Bad I'm not, bourbon. I'm not going to drink What else is there? Bad bourbon. Oh, there's Jeff Creed. <sighs> what else we got? Man, we got, we got some really bad bourbon. It just sits on this bottom shelf, and it's like the Misfit toys. <laughs> uh, here's the, have you not had it? I'm going to have you try that. So this is the Sweetens Cove, and I'm not ashamed to say this, but um, why is it half the bottle of Interesting. <laughs> so I, From you making all of us try it. <laughs> I'm not, ashamed, I'm not a, uh, ashamed to say this, but I paid $200 for this motherfucker. Yeah, you tell me if this is two hundred dollars because I'm gonna tell you right now, this is Peyton Manning's bottle. No, it's not. I'm gonna tell you, it's not. You know why? Because there's not a celebrity's alcohol. I've yeah, there is. Blackened. By who? Metallica. It was okay. Yeah, that's good, but you're right. Not very many. Heaven Store. Who's that? Uh, that is um. Uh, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. I don't know that. Three four. I'm telling you, I haven't personally had anything worth anything. Have you had American Highway? I haven't. No, I have not. All right, try it. Try it. Sweetens Cove. Yeah, this is it. Well, yes, there is. Uh, Jay Balls, why don't you... Uh, maybe we'll have him pick out a bottle for us in the back. Maybe we can clean our palates with that. Well, we still have Rubble 100 to go through. Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got, you got this level. We're not, we're not drinking this thing. <laughs> That thing is just used to pour down the drain. Actually, the worst bourbon I ever had, just in case you guys are wondering out there, we don't have it. We actually poured it down the drain. Which one? It was fresh. Look it up. What? It is awful. What? Fresh. 
just what it was called. Oh, was that the one? Somebody brought it. Ooh, I'm gonna try this, guys. So we have this new software we're using. Apparently, I can do like a share screen, and we're gonna. If we lose you, we'll come okay, back. Okay, hold on. Let's see how this. I'm doing this a share works. screen. Easy. Ooh, sorry. Present. Share screen. Okay, easy. Okay. Who are we trying to share with? Hold on. Let me. Oh, don't oh, that. oh you just shook it. <laughs> oh, you thought I logged out? I thought you logged out. <laughs> Fresh. Bourbon. Awesome. Frick. All right, let's do this. Present, share screen. Here we go. Can you guys see this? Yes, you can. What's up? Hey, Frank. Oh. Oh. Can I? Just say, yeah, you're 21. It won't let me. Well, you, oh. have, you have to. You have to go back to the. Yeah. There you go, that right there. Now say yes. No, there you go. This is fresh, everybody. Fresh is bourbon for everyone. No, it's not. <laughs> this it's not bourbon for anyone. This is the most god awful. Somebody yeah. brought that to the first one I came to, and I was like, "This is what you brought me here for." <laughs> I wonder if I can scroll this on the same screen. Tracy Probably says can. she can't figure it out. So this is raisin glass. This is it right here. Book a tour. Screw that shit. Tia and Sean Edwards. We make bourbon for the way you drink. Bring in a fresh taste of plastic. Why? Ain't nobody makes bourbon for the way I drink. <laughs> you know what the problem with this bourbon is? I'm going to tell you right now. It is, um, if the mask bill is on here, let me see if it's on here. I think what's making it, uh, um, Honey malt, malted wheat, all the things I hate. Uh, honey rye. malted wheat, malted, malted rye. rye, and malted barley. Good God, this thing is just god awful. This is the absolute oh, worst. So much better. Anyway, it's just so you guys know, that's the absolute worst bourbon uh, we ever had. I like it was like a wet sock. Yeah. And that was a that was a full table conclusion that it was that bad. Yeah, not just us three; it was Stop everybody sharing. who. Oh yeah, stop sharing. We don't see everything that we see. Everybody who was at the yeah, uh, there we go. at the hey, look, that worked. Uh, Frank said just just awful. It is just awful. For bourbon. <laughs> so now this is and, and it has one of those stickers on it. Whenever you see a sticker on a bourbon bottle and it says it won awards, oh, don't you. get it. Because it they don't need to be, they shouldn't be touting their own bourbon like that. Mm -hmm. Um to sit there and say they won all those Tater things. Tater done. MGP just I don't know man I don't know if MGP would even do it I think it's that bad I'm not sure but um I mean I'm all about small businesses but mm. they got there it is right there they got a 500 gallon pot still okay well there you go so they do their own distillate oh pot still that's another thing mm -hmm. well you know what you ever had um there's a pot still out there that I had um it's called uh Old, um, this is much better. It is, isn't it? Oh, oh, I haven't had it. Rebel, yes. Well, Sweetens Cove is not, I forget what it is, is not bad. I mean, is it $200 no, bad? No, though? yeah, it's no, nowhere near $200. What would you pay for that? I'd probably pay 40 50 bucks for the ball. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Elton asked if it's worse than Dickel. Yes, I rather uh drink Dickel. <laughs> I'd rather not have it. <laughs> why? Okay. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you name? I don't know. Is it a family name? That's a George it... Dickel, but good God, it gives that's a shit. why. Well, I mean, yeah, this Rebel is a good thing. Oh my goodness, this smells great it's compared very... to everything else. This this is like WLW. <laughs> so I I have something to tell you, Charlie. <laughs> what? Come on. Can so, I drink? Yeah, go ahead. Good Christ. Go ahead. So. uh those of you who've been watching for a little bit here the last couple weeks, Charlie and I made a bet, and you owed me a bottle of bourbon. And last week, you finally, after I reminded you, hold on, 
Oh, here it comes. Something's coming wrong. Yeah. You you paid up, right? You I did. You gave me a bottle of Magnolia. I appreciated it. This is how ADHD Charlie actually is. What? He had already given me a bottle of barrel, and I brought your Magnolia back because I'm honest. <laughs> Mother. But if anybody doubts that he could remember an hour later what he put in what glass, that'll show you. Oh, he oh. had paid me, bought me a bottle of barrel, and oh, gave it to up. me. Yes, I do remember. And every that. time I say for three weeks, like in a row, I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Like, You're like not working it. You're just like planting seed. I, <laughs> I took that home. And I was cracking up. I was like, "You bring it back, then? Right. Well, you know what? Then that goes to Matt. There we go. Because I'm short one. I went to go, I went to, um, I about to, uh, went out to go buy one because my Matt Bakowski won me yes. a Matt Madness. Yes. Right. Not Matt Madness. That's a whole different uh, channel. <laughs> Matt Madness. Yeah. Matt Madness. Uh, yeah. So I'll be shipping that bottle out too. So, um, interesting. Yeah, you ass. Why? I'm honest. Not at the beginning. You set that joke up. It's kind of easy. <laughs> All right, which, by the way, this Rebel 100 is very good. By yeah, way. I wouldn't. How much is that? I wouldn't purchase that any other rest. 18 99 a bottle. Are you serious? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I put that in the low 80s. I, I, How much is it? 1999. Oh, that's I put be, that in low 80s. That'll I be a regular at my house. I, I I got like five or six bottles. All right, guys, this is a recommend for tonight. Yeah. You don't already have it? Let's see if this works. No, that's all of us. All right, you don't already have it. it it'll stay. You don't already have it. It'll stay. Okay. Trust the system. I do okay. not. Don't touch the table. Yeah, don't touch the table. Um, what am I talking about? I, it doesn't matter because oh, yeah. I'm going to be only focused on this. It'll stay. It's not going to tip over. Um, yeah, so Rebel 100, I, I would say it's definitely a buy. Definitely a buy. Let's see how long we can keep that up there for the rest no, of the No, I don't think we need to. We're good. <laughs> no. Hold on. You can do like a... You see how high we can get them? No, we don't. What if I get another bottle up? No. No? No. Not while we're here. All right. Well, we're at 100. I recommend. Yes. <clears throat> like the rest of them. <laughs> benchmark, I would put in the low 70s, probably like a 71. Barrel Barton, probably in the 60s. And that let this, this, no. Barrel Barton was worse. Yes. To me. I uh, I put this in the 50s and then this one a high 50s. I've got both the very old Barton and the Lead Slinger both right at 60. Yeah. And I got Bur the benchmark at 69 and I put Rebel at 80. Mm, okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's, that's a very good ball. Hey, um, <laughs> who said that earlier? J Balls. You still with us, buddy? If you are, we'll have him pick up bottle. And we'll what bottle have you had back there? <clears throat> Uh, no Japanese whiskey. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just telling you what we're not going to do. And then no um, stag bar We already did that. Um, there's probably a lot of the barks down. I haven't. I've only had your eight and up. Uh, we had a four, I thought. Oh, is that the best one? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Parker's. What's hmm? Parker's? Parker, Parker's is the old Carter. No, I don't think I've had that. The double barrel bourbon blend. Um, <clears throat> oh, Jay Ball's had a store pickup. I don't think I've had of 100, this. Um, Rebel 100. I don't think I've had this one. I haven't had your Heaven Hill. What is it? What? That's the most expensive damn bottle I've had. I'm just saying. I, I don't okay. think I've had this. reasons. I, I, well, that's I, I, As far as the Rebel, I picked up uh, OHLQ, I guess, just released a six year Rebel. What is and it's not, it's not bad. What is uh what's the age statement on uh this one? Fifty straight bourbon. That means it's uh what four years at least. Uh, J Boss says do the makers seller age. Oh yeah. Have, I had that? have you had that? You're gonna know more than me. Have we had it? Um Bob, this is so in celebration of a thousand subscribers, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you this. This was our very first bottle that we had on our very first show. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we did a, celeb a celebratory uh, bottle opening. So um, I don't know if I've had that. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, we need more glasses. I don't know. I think you know Jeff's a 
No, I'm good. Do you mind taking some of these over? <laughs> it's the downside to where poor Phil sits. Yeah, Phil's our little bitch. <laughs> So, all right. Now, I gotta be honest with you, J Balls. Um, when we reviewed it, uh, memory serves me correctly. Um, I think I gave it uh, in the high seventies when I did it. Um, so, but this thing's now been open, and there's something to it, right? As far as bourbon being open right away versus it setting out for a little while. So, I'm hoping to out. have a better result uh, today uh, than I did. I was hyped up about it, um, but. Um, I don't know. I really like the Maker's 46. Um, yes. French Oak. Yes. That's a that's one of my favorites. Not a big Maker's fan. Well, and we did prove, you know, the bottle sits open for a while when we did that while we're doing yeah. it. Uh, did we prove that? Yeah, we did. Because it was... It was better. It was, it was... It was better than the one that had been sitting. True. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. One had been sitting for six months or whatever it was. You know what? We will let you, we'll try the William Lou Weller. I, I want you to try it. Yeah, I know the code to the door. I can come try it anytime I want. You know, if he's telling about the code to the door, and everybody can tell me. 6666. 8675309. Go finish my rubber. Okay. Finish your rubber. <clears throat> we won't pour a whole lot, only because uh, we have another show to do. Uh, believe it or not, at 10 o'clock. You guys won't. See it until Thursday. Um, we are going to uh, again. Um, we're going to have uh, Baker's drinks on, on as we were on their show. Where I was on their show on Saturday. Um, so I, I sent not. them samples. They did really well. Very well. I heard I did really. Yeah, I know you got a compliment. I hated every bit of it. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do the uh, Maker's Mark Seller Age, and on our J balls. Oh my God, that freaking nose. Good choice. That's nice. A little grassy, though. Mm -hmm. A little grassy. What proof are we here? Super, super sassy. Is it um, Makers? Uh, they stay away from rye, don't they? They have no rye in their mash. Uh, I'm almost for certain. 13% of the whiskey is aged 11 years. 87% is aged 12 years. Yeah, but I don't think Makers mash bill, they, I think they stay away from rye altogether. So it's a wheat? I think it's a weeded. Kentucky it State is. Bourbon whiskey. Yeah, they do. They stay away from it. It's, nice. it's uh, <clears throat> uh, corn, uh, wheat, and malted barley. <laughs> corn, I thought of that kid on TikTok. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I you. didn't see that. Oh, God. No. Anyways. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little grassy. Maybe it's because of the wheat. I like it. Put a hair on your chest. All right. I don't know. I don't know if it's because you don't like it. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird because it's um grassy. It's it's some tangy or something. It's different from what I remember when we when, you, when we first cracked it. It's, it's tart. <clears throat> yeah. Or something. All right, I'm turning you down, Chad. You need to get on a damn YouTube. See, I saw, I'm telling you. That's what I appreciate you guys not you're, you're texting, but not like you were last. So, J Balls, if you like weeded stuff, you would. I think you would love this. Um, I'm not a full weeded bourbon he guy. Says wheat stuff I like, so that's why I said that. Oh, I thought you were I, disregard. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Carry on. Um, I don't know. I think I probably almost had the same score, maybe in the low 80s or something. But um, there's something tangy about it that I'm missing, or that I'm getting, or earthy. I don't know about you. What about what about you? Yeah, it's something. It's in the mid palate. It is. It's something tangy. So I'm not sure what that is. Probably the wheat. But you know what? To each their own, dude. I mean, that's why makers is. I don't that's know if they are. I mean, I like to make her 46. I don't know if it's because we drank so much shit tonight or <clears throat> that could be it. <laughs> what is it? Good, good chance. That could, that could, it could be it. All right. We'll we'll try we'll try yours now. I, mean, I, I keep on turning you around too. I'll grab it. Bob or a glass guy. We're glass guys. 
man, you guys are sitting there watching, like, man, they're going through all kinds of F and bottles. Here's the thing we don't have big pores. Um, that's why we're able to do that. So we will try it because Beth has never had this. Beth has never had the William Lou, Lou, Lou Weller. Um, to me, I think this is probably the most premium bottle I probably own. I don't know. We'll see. You know, Doesn't matter. Right. Um, I'm going to ask. I think it's two years ago. What's this run? On the secondary, because you'll never find it on yeah. the, uh Anywhere from uh, 15. Do you want me to read that 15 out? To, <laughs> 15, <laughs> to, <laughs> 15 <laughs> to $20? $15 or $20? Yeah. Like that, right? yeah. Add that two more zeros to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Jesus H. This is why it is what it is. Yeah. You don't even want to drink it. <laughs> this is a cuddle. This is a cuddle bourbon. Man, we went from very old Barton. Yeah. <laughs> I bet no one other no other channel has gone from very old Barton to William Lou Weller in one in one setting. Mm -mm. This is very good. So some of you guys out there, what do you guys think about the idea? We send you all some samples and we all do blinds together. Uh, like I said, if I had to guess how much it would be, I'm thinking it would be about uh, 20, 20 $25 know, for us to uh, break even. Christine had to go pee, so she might not be able to answer, but she did want to do that. I'm, I think everybody loves the fact that you just told everybody she did, that. They don't know who she is. <laughs> right, one of our viewers had to go pee. Apparently. <laughs> I mean, some of them might. That is, that is great. All right, this is just yeah, that's fabulous. So it's not that we've been drinking shit tonight, and that was just part of it. This is. Mm. Are you motherfucking kidding me? <laughs> I did that on Twitter. Good man. That's all right. Magnolia up against that. <laughs> yeah, we'll blind, we'll blind. Blind. Magnolia versus Magnolia. <laughs> barrel 33, barrel 35. And William Lurella. Oh, we'll see wow. who wins. Uh, yeah. Be oh, my God. Uh, oh, she wants to know what we're drinking now. We are drinking because you went to the bathroom. You, yeah, you had to go potty. We are drinking this. William Lurella. I don't know if that's out of focus. I'm glad Charlie's not driving anywhere tonight already. It's hard to say. <laughs> you know what my favorite on here? I'm not getting it down because it's too much effort. Uh, Heaven Hill 17. I was going to say that. That uh, was going to be uh, that. Know. I already had it, but I would have said. That and Coy Hill are my two favorites. I've almost I'm sure I've had Coy Hill, but I don't remember it. It's, we've had it at one of your one of your after tastings, as uh, I like to call yeah. them. We get Charlie drunk and make him come down here and open shit. What other... Oh man, honestly, and I'm not kidding. I know this is um so Tab Ramos asked, great show, uh, not an expert, but neither are we. Um <laughs> but Wellers is one of the favorites. Uh what other bourbons would you compare it to? Honestly, um, I know I don't know if you've had it. I compare this to that double barrel uh blend as far as the sweetness of it. Yeah, maybe not as being full body as the well uh WL I'm gonna say fucking WLW now. I yeah. can't even say it. So not as uh, full body as WLW, um, but the sweetness, I would compare that to uh, the Parker. Parker is probably one of the sweetest bourbons yeah, I've ever had. Yeah, especially um, that double barrel one there. As far as premium, <clears throat> uh, I definitely have to go to eight, uh, Heaven Hill uh, 17. Um, but they're different bourbons, uh, in, my, yeah. in my opinion. But mm -hmm. the closest thing I would say, and it's still, there's still a gap, don't get me wrong, uh, would be the uh, Parker's Heritage, uh, that uh, double barrel. Uh, blend. It's it's a sweet bourbon. It, this is sweet too, but it, this is definitely more well-rounded. Right? And Tab, did you mean Wellers just in general? Just I'm just checking because um, I know you were going to ask a question. Uh, well, Tracy told me you're going to. Oh, a question. did you mean? So, do you just mean Wellers in general? Oh, okay, um, my bad. But no, I don't. I, maybe I'm wrong. I just want to make sure. No, you're probably because right. if you well, I probably am. But <laughs> <laughs> if you mean Wellers in general, let's just do that just in case. Like the red, the green. So the... I know this won't be a popular opinion, but this is just, you know, it's one of the three opinions. Um, my favorite Weller, the whole Weller lineup, minus this, of course, as far as the, um, as far as all the color, the vertical, you call it. Honestly, I like the green Weller. That's well, my favorite. 
Hmm. I know it's simple. I know it's only 25 bucks, but man, is it great. That's why it's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, no, I, mean, I like the, well, anyway, I like the antique. So, yeah, thing. so he's had, so Tab's had the green bottle. You're not, to me, I like that uh, green bottle better than the red one, uh, the Weller Antique. Uh, to me, um, Weller Antique is too, um, um, right. spi it's just spicy, something yeah. spicy for me. <clears throat> well, I, I know I, you like Weller 12. Yeah, I've had, I've had all the Wellers except the, the CYPB in a single barrel. <laughs> and the Weller but it, 12. And the CYPB is going to be different every time. Right. Yeah, it's true. But if, if you were gonna buy something because you couldn't get some, you couldn't get Weller Green. What would you buy? That's comparable. Yeah. Brass tax. That's what actually he was asking. <laughs> right. Which is, don't don't buy that. <laughs> no, this is benchmark. Yeah, yeah. I would say don't buy that. Well, I mean, so you would have to go. You would have to go ninety proof. There's not a whole lot of ninety proof bourbons that I actually enjoy, and Weller is one of them. And, and that, so it's hard for me to sit there and compare uh, who's had it uh, and who's had it. Yeah. Well, he, he lives out in Jersey. So get being able to get stuff is different than probably what we can get. And he's going to pay a lot more for it out there. Yeah. Here we get Weller for $25 all day. Yeah, if you, and if you can't Every find week. a Weller, I mean, you got, you got Rebel. That's true. I mean, yeah, and that's just a little hotter though than a little bit. I mean, it's you know, if, you want to, if you want to compare apples to apples, they do make a lower proof of this. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> but I will say that doesn't drink hundred proof. It does not. It's mm -hmm. that's smooth. That's like Magnolia. It's what 126. Is that what we said it was? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it does not drink. No. As... But I think I think Weller or just I know it's all the FOMO makes sometimes you guys think that you know it's a it's a better bourbon. And, you know, I, I would argue obviously it's not. I mean, one thing I do not like. Um, with Blanton's. Nope. I, I don't like Blanton's. Um, I just, I just don't. I think, you know, I'm out trying to be whatever, but I know I'll go to, I'll go to parties and stuff like that. And, and they know I'm in the bourbon and stuff like that. And, you know, they'll be like, well, my favorite is Blanton's. I just wonder if that's the one, if that's the only thing they have had. And two, yeah. um, they're doing that, you know, to keep up with, you know, the Joneses and just saying that for whatever reason. I mean, it's a $60 bottle and then quite honestly it's a six dollar bottle you can't get it anyway yeah but thing is i wouldn't pay more than i don't know i don't like it and it was that was one but, of you know, it's funny because everybody owns one <laughs> and that's i mean i have one from probably three years ago that has maybe a quarter of it out, out of it mm. this is just not something i like i have an eh taylor that i've had here with you mm -hmm. um but i have the bottle still unopened because I'm like, eh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, I just, it's not my thing. But, the, and the reason I got it was my sister was looking for a bottle for my brother in law of the, of the Blantons. And uh, um, I said, well, what do you want to spend? Because I, I had no idea at this point mm -hmm. about bourbon. Mm -hmm. and this, like I said, about three years ago. And um, so she's like, well, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. So I have a friend in Kentucky and I said, can you look for these things for me? And uh, it was Eagle Rare and Blantons. Um, and she's like, I found it at this piece of shit liquor store out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, it was attached to like a drive or a gas station. Yeah. And <clears throat> she's like, it's 60 bucks for, and I was like, buy gut. She's like, I, they don't have a limit on how many I can buy. And I said, well, buy two of the Blantons and one of the Eagle Rare. Um, cause I was like, I want to try this, this hype. Right. And right. then I tried it and I was like. <clears throat> Um, and I, again, I was new to bourbon, so I was like, okay, I mean, I expand my palate here a little bit, and it just wasn't, it's just not my thing. So, um, I told you guys earlier, we're, we're experimenting with this software, uh, if Tab or, uh, J Balls, I know Christine will, um, if they want to indulge me, I actually, um, you guys don't have to, uh, I put a link on our, um, on our show, our live stream, if you click on it. If you want to, you can join the conversation in real time. Uh, it actually adds another screen. Oh. And we can have a conversation with them. But you guys are more than welcome to try to hop in. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it works. Um, so you guys are uh, more than welcome to uh, join in and what? have a real conversation. At Walmart? Where? Do, where? where do you live? Well, yeah, he's not around here. <laughs> no. <laughs> not in Kentucky? But, Tab, I'm happy to grab a couple of greens for you and send them out that way. I don't have any issues with that. I know where you live. Um, 
So if that's if and if you want a couple of bottles, just let me know and we can yeah, send you some homemade pickles. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's practically a shelfer anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know where was it you that was somewhere the other day, and there was like a, no, it wasn't you. I was at uh, oh, Kingman, Arizona. He's at Kingman, Arizona. Where is that? Any that near anywhere I know? Scottsdale, Phoenix. Mm. I, I was at Arrow. That's weird, just to walk into a Walmart and find that. I was at Arrow's yeah. uh, Wine and Spirits here in Mason. Yeah. And they had 10 cases of green. Yeah. Sitting there. All right. So, and yeah. I know I was somewhere and I walked in and there was like 15 bottles sitting there. And I was like, yeah. Well, that thrill's gone now. <laughs> yeah. So, Tab, if you want some, just have Tracy or, or just send me something here and I'll, I'll grab you a couple of bottles and send it out your way so that you have it. Yes. This is good. This is good. I'm like savoring it. I killed it. <laughs> what else you got? Um, Back to my rubble. We did see some sports today, though, just a little bit. Oh, what Caitlin, happened? Caitlin Clark oh, got picked up by the Indiana number Fever, number one, which is which is right down the street from us. So maybe we we'll have to watch That's it. True. Yeah. Oh, I will. I'll go. Okay. Maybe the first woman's basketball I've ever seen since high school. So I've been oh, to. Shit, I don't know if I've even done that. I I never I've never been to a WNBA game, but I used to go to ABL games okay. when when before WNBA. So it was right out of high school. Then you could go to oh, the that's ABL. What, that's what they called it. Yeah. What um, does it stand for? American Basketball League. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of the girls who graduated from. You know what that's like? I don't even want to know. He knows. <laughs> Can I say it just to be funny? I mean, go ahead. But I don't mean. I, I think I kind of know what you're going to say. Like American Bitches Association? Oh, it's not even close to what I thought you were going to say. That's fair. That's fair. I can, I can laugh at that. I thought you were going to be your racist. What? <laughs> oh, dude, come on. I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm, kidding. Kidding. I'm kidding. He's not racist. No. On TV. Um, <laughs> no, so Katie Smith, who went to my high school, went to, after she graduated from Ohio State, went to the ABL. So I went to a couple of the ABL games to watch and then the WNBA became a thing and that's so I've never been to a WNBA game but I've been to an ABL. Interesting. Yeah. What other bad bourbons have we had for you guys to stay away from? Honestly. We got fresh. Thank you. We Jeff. got Jeppa Creed, which by the way, this is Jeppa Creed. It's, this is god awful. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> they don't need to see my face. Uh <laughs> save yourself some money and and some whoa. this is just <laughs> awful. It is like, like I wouldn't even use no. it as a mixer. No, you can't mix any of this shit in there. No. Um, we've had the uh, field of dreams field, again, not even a mixer. Yeah, no, field of dreams bad. Castle and key, do not like. I've not had the castle and key. Castle and key, I bad. have, I know it. I did have one, but not that that one. What else you get? Because you gave me, uh, I, I gave you shit for saying it was bad because it was the female. Uh, distiller. Oh, okay. And I said, you only, you only don't like it because, oh, is this the one? I brought this one. What is that? Yeah, that's Jefferson cool. Reserve. That was awful too. Yeah. Some, that's bad. That's a brand. Somebody left this I mean, at that's my a house. Brand name. I think yeah. it's Kevin Craig. Um, I, I, maybe. But the thing is, the Jefferson Ocean is not bad. But but that's bad. No, I think I actually bought this one. That came in last, I think. It, it, as it should have. At a twelve bottle blind. That came from like dead last. Very small batch, as it should be. <laughs> oh, let's preview real quick. Um, because well, yeah, we can give it away. It doesn't matter because we're not tasting. Oh, yeah. Let's give a let's um preview what Thursday's show's coming up. Because this is exciting. Uh the Hainer. That and then Scott AM Scott. Press a little button for everybody. Look, it turns on. Uh, wild turkey. Um, we do have wild turkey. Um, I love 101. I ain't gonna lie. Wild I turkey. like wild turkey, and, and then I was surprised. One that I didn't realize I was gonna like was rare breed. I thought it was god awful when I first tried it, but then Bob and I, if you look at our other I episodes, we said. did a uh, barrel. I'm oh, sorry, a bourbon brawl, and I voted it in like three times in a row. It's a solid freaking bourbon. That might be one of the best bourbons to bang for your buck. So, yeah, wild turkey. It, it oh, is. It yeah. is very good. Um, Russell's thirteen. I think it's good. It is. Um, I know we're getting good. a little up there. 
Um, but uh, Wild Turkey 101, to me, I think that needs to be on everybody's shelf. So uh, good job on pointing that one out because uh, that is a solid, solid uh, bourbon. Uh, what else I'm not a big fan of the uh, Wild Turkey. Um, oh, what is that? Master's Keep? I don't know. I don't particularly like it. Um, it was four bottles. Okay. Oh, this, this, and then uh, New Ref 8, which is on the wall. What about Nashville? And then so is, uh, did you bring that bottle? Magnolia. The Magnolia? Yeah, that's right. So this here. I really did bring it back. Look at you. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm an honest person. Today you are. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, you let me give this bottle to you. No, I didn't let you do anything. You chose to not right. remember. So, Jay Ball, I don't know how new to you are to the show, but if you watch any of our episodes, we are a bunch of fanboys or girls. Sorry, no, I'm not offended. Uh, of yeah, you are this. I'm not. I'm not offended. I said. Oh, I know you're not. You don't get offended. <laughs> no. Uh, Magnolia. Uh, this is one of our favorites. I don't know where you live that you can get it. He's in Arizona. Right. I don't know where he can get it. Where he uh, lives is what I meant. Yeah, I don't know if they ship out. This is a Columbus bourbon. Um, but man, this is so good. Let me tell you how this has been battle tested. This thing has won a 12 bottle blind. A and that's where we, it came out of nowhere. No yeah. one had even heard of it when we did the 12 bottle blind. So here's how we do the 12 bottle blind. Um, just so you know. So we invite people, we don't have any videos of it. We invite people over um and eat everybody is responsible for bringing over a bottle. Um, and then uh, we'll have um three rounds of four. Uh, blind, just like we just did tonight. Um, and we'll sip on We don't get... And we have a lot of food. <laughs> we have a lot of food. There's Our first time panel on this, we did not know how much to pour. And we were pouring like a freaking ounce, ounce and a half. And it was it's bad. Probably here. It was brutal. Um, but now we do like a half ounce just to get through the night. Um, but everybody brings their own bottle. And the you know the, the one that has to get the most votes for the night, you know, is deemed the winner. But what happens is, you know, we do you know, three rounds of four, and we score them individually to our own. Right. And then we have a final round of the best four of from the three rounds we had before. Now, what's what's cool about that is the fact that... Um, um, it's your best four. It's your best four, not like my best four, not Jeff's best four. <laughs> best. It's your personalized best four. You you know, you give them to my wife, and, and she'll sit there. It takes a little while for her to do it, but God love her for doing it. Um, she will uh, then individually bring them back blindly uh, mm -hmm. for you to taste. And then by the end of the night, you'll know exactly what you personally uh, like the blind. It takes us about three hours right. uh, to do it. And we have a lot of fun. We'll smoke some cigars, yeah. uh, things like that. But um, this ended up winning um, that 12 bottle blind that night. And it, it went up against some other ones. Like, I think I went the next I, day and bought a bottle of that. Yeah. I think that's, I mean, that's how much I like it. <laughs> I want to say an old Forester was in there. Uh, as well. So anyways, um, it's one of 12 bottle blind. This is also one um, four times a head-to-head uh, -head blind. Mm -hmm. And then um, it won a best of Ohio blind. So it's been battle tested. And then tournament of champions, it came in second. Right. Uh, so Elijah Craig Barrelford. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, that this tells you something. And it's, um, there's, Two different batches that we've gone through. Yeah. So two and four. This is we, batch we, four. Gandy's given us a, a, a sample of batch one. We've not, we've not been yeah. able to get our hands on that. But I two and four. Have a bottle of batch one. Okay. So we're we are going to uh, get with Baker drinks tonight at ten o'clock. Again, we'll air this on Thursday. Uh, they they're from the West Coast, so they have they have I know they've never had this. Oh, right. uh, so they're gonna have this, and then um, also Hainer. we're going to Hainer. This is new. It was recommended to me um, by a lady at the store. She traveled all the way from um, um, about 45 minutes away to to where I was at. She said because on OHLQ, which by the way, OHLQ is our Ohio website for liquor. It is phenomenal. They do a phenomenal job on inventory. You sit there and go on OHLQ.com. You punch it in. They will tell you exactly which liquor store it's at. And it is, I would say it's 95% accurate. Yeah. So, Christine, you don't have to call Lisa to ask her. <laughs> so, no, it's great. So, anyways, this lady traveled all the way down to where I was at, about 45 minutes, just to look for this bottle. Yeah. Um, now, well, that's all gimmicky, it. though. Um, so, it's not going to be good. We know that. Yeah, I think it's not going to be good, but she she seems to think that it is. But um, Hayner, it's out of Troy, Ohio. Mm -hmm. so, um, so is A.M. Scott. Yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to so do A.M. Scott. Three of these are out of Ohio. 
Yeah, and the other one is like Northern Kentucky, which yeah. is right. one of the most twenty minutes from here. We actually had the opportunity; we're lucky to live around um, some very good uh, distilleries. I mean, we're only twenty minutes away from Kentucky, uh, where we get the New Red, we get the Boone mm -hmm. County Distillery, Boone County. Uh, mm -hmm. Augusta, uh, yeah. which is that thirteen-year bourbon. That's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Uh, and then we're probably about an hour and a half, two hours. Well, two hours from away from Louisville. Um, so we can go to the Bourbon Trail. Uh, that town is too new. Well, White Dog's been around yeah. for a bit. Oh, yeah. It's a, well, four years. Four yeah, years. so we're 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 uh we're pretty fortunate to be around some really good distilleries. Mm -hmm. Um so we're gonna have these three bourbons uh for the Thursday show, along with um New Riff Eight, which I can't get from you. It's on the wall right now, um, upside down on the thing. So we'll get it down some, uh for the show. But that's probably if you know anything about New Riff to us, this is probably by thing. far the best new rip, is, yep. uh, bottle we've ever had. Yeah, it right? is. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> For eight-year uh, bourbon, um, it is only uh, uh, $68. Okay. Yeah, because usually the way you want to price bourbon, somewhat, it's not exact science. For every year, you want to calculate $10. Yeah. So if there's an eight-year bourbon, you expect to pay around $80 for fair market value, unless it's a premium uh, mm -hmm. brand. But um, usually you want to give $10 for every year. Well, in Ohio, um, because we're a control state, I mean, that's, yes, that's, we're lucky in that respect that prices are staying down for the bottles. Yes. yes. <clears throat> yeah. So we, we are pretty fortunate about that. Um, yeah. Weller Green 25 here. You go across the bridge and you're yeah, going to pay $50 for that. Yeah. Right. And it's you like, get uh, E.H. Taylor here for, you know, whatever, whenever you see it. That right. Is. Yeah. For 45, yeah. 50 bucks. But, I mean, we can go to Kentucky and see all this crap on the shelves. Oh, yeah. But they'll stay on the shelves because they're so damn expensive. You're oh, yeah. and, I went in yeah. there. I went into some old gas station one time, and they had everything. And I look up and for each tail, they wanted three hundred fifty dollars yeah. for a bottle. It's like, cool. see, yeah, yeah. a couple of folks I follow on TikTok and such, or they'll run through with their phone, and they're like, "Would you pay that?" No, I'm not going to pay that. Yeah, and you can get on some local Facebook groups. You just got to be careful. But um, I mean, that's where I get some of these bottles at. Um, you can trade and 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 whatnot. Um, and they'll ship it to you and all that kind of stuff. You just got to get uh, some people to vouch for them. But um, I've never had, I've never been burnt. Oh, speaking of being burnt, I got a um, um, a fake bourbon bottle. Uh, where is it at? Where is it? It's a Four Roses limited edition. That's not bad. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. The very bottom. I see it. Yeah. So... Want to want to show you something? You're not gonna tell the difference either. This thing, well, one is hardly a drink because um, when I tasted it, it's bourbon, but it's not four roses. Anyways, this thing here is counterfeit. Um, there's this guy, and I ran into rave about him on one of my episodes. I don't give a shit. Um, his name is Jeremy Caudell. He's from Dayton, Ohio. He works from construction. So go try and find him if you like. Yes. Uh, he has burnt a lot of people. Yeah. I have not been, thankfully, I've not okay. been burned by him. So I fortunately only got burnt once. Uh, this is it right here. How I know this is what he used to do is he would go on eBay and he would buy these empty bottles for whatever reason people freaking sell them, which I hate um, because there's no other reason why you would buy empty bottles. Uh, so he'd buy these empty bottles. Well, I mean, people, people do make candles out of them and lights. Okay. And kind of, yeah. All right. Kind of I get thing. you on that. Yeah. No, you're right. <clears throat> so he would buy these empty bottles and then he would um, uh, put some cheap bourbon in it and then seal them back up and then sell them on the secondary market. This would go for like $400, but I bet you there's a $20 bourbon in here. Mm -hmm. um, it's not very good. Um, so he got busted because someone was able to link his account to him as far as his eBay account where he just bought a ton Right. Um, he did a lot of uh, uh, Weller Red. He did a lot of Weller uh, 12s, uh, single barrel, and CYPB because it was very easy to mask it. Because if you take if you take these bourbon uh, bottles, all right, the stickers, other than the color, are exactly the same shape. So all he did was create these stickers, mm -hmm. and then he would then just put them, peel this off, right, and then. Uh, do that or buy these bottles or whatever and rebrand them or whatever. Um, and then he'd have a sealer uh, to do all that. But um, and the bourbons look pretty identical. I mean, the green yeah. looks a little browner and the red looks a little redder. But but uh, a buddy of mine has, I think he's got three or four 
he's got a couple of well-approved proofs and he's got a single barrel that are definitely fake. Mm -hmm. uh, just because you, you can see on the uh, uh, thing. Hey, it's Gandy. What's up, brother? Nice to meet you. Hey, Gandy, I know you'll do this for us. Um, I want, this is the first time we've been using um, this format as far as the software. Um, oh, you can tell. You can you can tell the difference. Well, Tate, when I tasted it, is, is the reason why I knew it. Uh, I'll get back to you. Hold on, Gandy. Um, J. Walls, um, I, at the moment I tasted it, uh, I could tell right away that was not a Four Roses product. And then I kind of sat on it for a few days, and then that story broke. Uh, to where he was doing fake bottles. And I met the guy. Uh, and I, I freaking gave him, I'm so pissed. I gave him a damn Jack, Do Jack Daniels Coy Hill. So pissed. And he gave me that plus some other bottles. But uh, see, yeah. he's he's never been caught. He's been he's been outed. But yes. nobody can find the guy. Yeah. He, he, he and pops then, up in, with different names on different yes. websites. and uh, But he's never been caught. Hey, it's John Holbrook. What the heck, dude? That's my high school buddy. I haven't talked to you since high school, my man. Magnolia. Hold on. I was just catching up with him. Second I know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, John, um, it is uh, Magnolia uh, Barrel Street. Uh, get the Barrel Street. Um, you can get it at uh, local liquor stores around here. Um, but, man, this is so freaking good. I highly, highly recommend it. It's fifty-five dollars. Go get it. You will not be disappointed. It's um, worth every. But to go back to what you were saying, J Balls. Um, yeah. So I mean, the counterfeit um, bourbon. It's real. Um, you just got to be very careful. Um, I guess nothing's a hundred hundred percent proof. Right. No, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it's just the way it is, and sometimes you're gonna get burnt. And um, I haven't drank this since, obviously. Um, but yeah, I feel bad. I hope it doesn't happen to you either. Yeah, hope it happened no one out there. Yeah. Um, but uh yeah, so anyways, hey, um, back to you, Gandy, if you're on there. Do me a favor, brother. Um, I know that you're used to doing this. This is the first time that we've used this software. Um, I used I posted a link. I think I pinned it. I'm not sure. Um yeah. what's the benefit of this private chat? I have no idea. Um H H T H. I don't know who that yeah, is. You, I didn't know we had one. You scroll down. You start it right there. Yeah, I think I pinned it. There it is. It's on the. Uh... Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry, I'm learning this. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can put your guys in the comments on the thing. I'll be damned. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. So, uh, if you guys, if Gandy, if you can go on that, I want to see if I can get you in on uh, these conversations. Uh, one on one, just like we did on Saturday. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never used a software before. So, uh, if you're available, Gandy, uh, give that thing a whirl. Oh, hi, Christine. Um, that was you. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Hawking Hills Tiny House. Yeah. I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what HHTH is. Oh. <laughs> so, but yeah. So, um, anyways, so that's my little story on uh, fake bourbon. Uh, but again, he hasn't been caught in. He went under, um, who's that? Sam Donaldson. Yes, that was another one, yeah. Why would you pick a quarterback's name? Yeah, especially a bad one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, but he's running around Dayton somewhere, and he does this crap, and he's making a killing off of this stuff. He's making probably about three, or $400 markups on these fake bottles, and just people aren't, um, you just got to be careful as far as who you deal with. Um, another thing that I've done um, through Facebook, I personally would not do this. I don't know about you guys. You can comment on here if you guys would. I just this is just me. Uh, people will buy my open bottles. Oh yeah, I don't know about all that. Mm, I wouldn't, but maybe. I, I mean, unless I know, like you bought an open bottle for me. Yeah, I mean, if I know, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna buy that. Right. I'm not. But like strangers, like who I've never met, and maybe it's because I have a no offense, but I have a presence uh, on some of these groups, and maybe they tr they trust me, which is awesome. Um, mm. But um, they'll buy. Like, if I don't like a bottle, like Bob and I did the um, Old Forester birthday bourbon. He, he and I did not like it. So instead of it to, yeah. to set on my shelf, because I'm a firm believer. I know not a lot of people uh, are, and that's fine, to each their own. Uh, a lot of people, some people collect, and, you know, that's fine. Yeah. I, myself, am a believer. Anything on here, I will drink, uh, with the exception of, you can't see it, I don't think. Nope, you can't. Uh, up there is a Tesla tequila bottle. I'll never open it. We're going to open it in about a month whenever he's not here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so 
Uh, but everything else on the on the back shelf is open. Um, I'm a big, big believer of. Um, there's always more whiskey. There's always more bourbon. So you know, I enjoy drinking with you all and, and drinking with friends and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I I open everything. Yeah, um, and you do. And it's you, not and letting you. Want. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. While he's looking, he does share. I mean, that's I said we get him drunk during those blinds, and he comes down here and opens stuff up. But he's not drunk. He. Right. Just, he likes to share and have a, other people experience it, right. which is kind of how I started getting into bourbon. Um, Charlie's like, hey, you like bourbon? I'm like, I'm learning. Right, yeah. And I get invited <laughs> to one of these, and now I'm sitting out there with you guys and smoking <laughs> cigars and drinking <laughs> bourbon, and life is good. I mean, there are there are a few bottles that I haven't opened yet. You know, I've, I'm holding on to my Russell 13 and my one of my uh, stags. Mm -hmm. My stag junior for a special occasion, but eventually I will crack them. But for the most part, everything I have is is. What do you have that you have not cracked open yet? That you just wait. Stag. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. No, I forgot okay. the second. <laughs> no, I've got Russell 13, and I got a stag 18. I think it is. Or yeah, stag 18, and I haven't 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 cracked yet. <clears throat> and I don't. I uh, these guys are a little bit out of my price range. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't have any of that right now. I mean, my price range is like, I have a 33 and a 35 full bottle of 33 and 35 from barrel that I haven't opened yet, but I also have open bottles that I'm going through. Right. So like, yeah. I don't want to just bring it over here. I mean, I bring it here, but I just want to bring it somewhere and start drinking it because it's, it's right. too good. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if you talk to my wife, she's like, why do you keep buying bottles if you got these other bottles to drink? He's like, well, it's another one to drink. That's right. <laughs> hey, Gandhi, try it. Try, um, I don't know, it might be the same link. Oh, try, it in the, awesome. try it in the chat and see if it works or not. Nice. I'm not sure where to look for a notification on this. Um, again, this is the first time I use the software, so bear with me. Um, but anyways, J-Ball says, oh, I'm nice. Here. Wife one of that is a great oh okay you're gonna love that we did a um uh Thanks, we Chrissy. go ahead I'm listening we did a uh, bottle review on it and personally I think it's better than last year's that's the one with all the it was very cherry forward yes but in a good way and the cork was yeah unbelievable was hard to get out you would but, definitely like yeah, it that was well yeah. I, I shouldn't say that I definitely liked it can't say anybody else it's right behind you right there. Okay. yes yeah so. This I think is better than uh, the last year's version. Um, Grant, this is double double oak, or not double double, double oak. Um, and I'm not an oak person, so to me this was a lot better. Uh, so uh, I, it's awesome. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you guys uh, got that. That you guys were very fortunate. There was only like three thirty six hundred bottles made, yeah. so it hold on to good. it yeah. uh, for sure. I think this is working. What so does that she's, mean? She's down here. Where? Right there. Yeah. Her? H H T H. There yeah. you go. Oh, okay. Who well, someone got in. Well, Christine is very tech savvy. So, Gandy, try it again, brother. She's a lot more than I am. Uh, because someone else got in. She's not going to get on, is she? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you're on. I We just can't hear you. Oh, you know what? I got my volume turned down. Ah. All right. What about now? Hello? Christine? <laughs> there she is. There she is. <laughs> Wait, can so you hear we, me? Yes. Yeah. So why are we staring at a <laughs> logo? Put your, put your face on there. I don't want yeah, to show Yeah, and then come on board, buddy. The question you, is, can wait, everybody How did you do this? So you can tell everybody else. Who? Hello. You. How did you do how did you do this? I don't I don't know. <laughs> oh wonderful. Did you not? I thought yeah, I had yeah. my microphone on mute. No, uh, it's no. not. Well, it may have been, but our volume was down. So now our volume's up and we can hear you. Okay. Well this is awesome though. Can can anybody else hear her though? Yeah, That's can anybody awesome. else hear her? Well, J Balls, there's, Andy. There's only two other people right now. Oh, so we get down to two people? <laughs> oh, no, there's four. You do the math. Yeah. Everybody oh, here we go. This. 
It's asking me to join the app, and I don't have to do that with other streams. Well, sons of bitches. I don't know, Gandy. I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm on with Baker Drinks tonight at 10 o'clock. That's why we're just kind of letting this live stream just run until it's death. Um, so we're on with Baker Drinks at 10 o'clock uh, to do a uh, four-bottle blind. Uh, I'm, I'm, they're not watching, but uh, we're having these three plus a new rope. How do we know they're not watching? Because they're not on there. I don't think they're on there. They don't have to be on to be watching. Yeah, they do. Absolutely not. You don't have to be a subscriber to watch. They're a subscriber. I'm just saying. I don't know. So, anyways, so yeah, so uh, we are going to wrap up the stream here in a minute, anyways. Um, is she not talking anymore? Are you didn't talk in first hand? I no, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Hey, hold on. I got to ask you a question. That George C. Stag we gave you. Have you had it yet? Wait, what? What? She's I not, acne here. She's not had George C. Stag. What are you talking about? <laughs> hold on. Am I getting my people mixed up? Apparently. Who, who won the you? George C. Who won that four? That was Megan. And it my was, bad. It wasn't Stag. It was... Jesus. Chrissy, uh, now I feel like we have to give her a, a poor Stag. Yeah. Have you had stag before, Christine? No. Oh, thanks, Jay Balls. Okay. Yes, thank you, Jay Balls. I'll see you. And John, I know, I, I, I'll sneak you a, a taste down next time I come home. Mm. Okay. So hey, um, we may. Uh, I didn't. I didn't talk to you guys about this. Jay Balls can hear. Okay. Cool. We may um, move the stream to nine p.m. Maybe. Dude, I have to work in the morning. Ten p.m. now. See if you get any watchers. Because <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Just come in late. Yeah, that's easy. But then I have to stay late. Oh, yeah. No. All right. Never mind. We'll keep it at eight. We'll see. Right. We'll see. We'll see. It's just people are putting their kids to bed. I mean, I'll stop. Sorry that they have kids. Well, you know, I'm sure they're not. <laughs> I'm sure some of them might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. So, um, no. So, all right. Never mind. We'll keep it at eight. I don't know. I'm not going to be the deciding factor. In yeah, that. you are. You're going to be the one that brings it all down. That's all right. We'll <laughs> do whatever. Job. We'll do what our best wants. That's what we do. On that note, <laughs> oh, we should call it uh, bourbon and best. I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> oh, never mind what I said earlier. <laughs> Can you call me a bitch? No. I know where you park every day. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, like, it's like comes out of nowhere. So, what's your experience with bourbon, or do you have any, Christine? Um, Christine, not a lot. I won basket playing park golf, so I started <laughs> drinking it. Do you know what bourbons you won? What bourbons I want? One, one, the one, yeah. Oh, what well, Weller, win? the Green Bottle, and okay, that's your. What else was it, Matt? I can't remember what the other one was. It was something pretty good. Okay. okay. But Christine has good taste. I mean, she's a wine drinker. They make homemade wine. Oh, really? Uh, no, yeah. I don't, Beth. You did. Um, you have. Why are you lying? You have. Well, I've had it. She doesn't want to admit to it on TV. Well, that's fine. She didn't sell it. <laughs> but she has good taste. So... I wonder why Gandy can't get in. I don't know. I don't. We'll figure. It. Gandy, I'm going to ask Baker tonight, and then figure out how they do it. Because I, I know they use Streamyard, so I'm not sure what's going on. All right. Well, I think we're going to get ready for our 10 o'clock uh, video uh, that we have with Baker Drinks, and it will air on Thursday. Um, next week we'll see if Bob will be here. Um, we hope so. Yeah, we do hope so. We Not do that we so. don't love Jeff. Maybe Jeff can be a fourth. Mm -hmm. No, maybe not. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and then, uh, oh, we're getting, hopefully we'll have our new tables in. No, so I we hope be, so. Because Beth keeps on getting poked. Just and not in a good way. No. <laughs> <laughs> we may want to kill her last. <laughs> no, that's a sound bite right there. All right. Well, I'm, I'm booting you off, and we're going to go back to the single one, but I appreciate you trying this. Bye, Chrissy. All right. So, um, I wonder why. I don't know. Well, while he's playing, we appreciate you guys. 
yeah. tuning in mm -hmm. and being uh, patient with our and we, learning. And and we might wait till next week, and maybe we'll do a um, we'll do a thousand subscriber draw, um, and then um, Jay Ball, you'll like this if you're still on. Um, you guys, you can we'll uh, have a we'll have a game or something like that where the winner would get anything off the shelf. Uh, except, a taste. Except for uh, what's true though. A taste. A taste. A sample. Yes, you keep oh, saying they get anything off the shelf, and I'm like a taste. But you don't. You gotta clarify because somebody's gonna expect a whole fucking bottle of George D. Stags coming to their house. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chrissy, just beat you out. Yeah, you're backstage. Yeah, no more. <laughs> you can your ass off. No, uh, you can't have any um, barrel kings. Taste, yeah. Yeah, yeah taste. Hey, sample. And we'll, we'll mail you out a two ounce sample. Um, but, uh, with we'll, macaroni. With macaroni. Yeah, with, with, with a lot of macaroni. <laughs> so we'll maybe I'll put some cheese in it too. Um, so we'll have that uh, for you. Uh, we'll think of a game or think of a contest uh, next week uh, for you guys to do. We didn't have much time to prepare. Because I gotta be honest with you, I didn't think we were gonna hit a thousand by today. Uh, it can't kind of came out I, of nowhere. I knew we would. Please. Not in a bad way. That's I knew we would. It's, it's fun. We're we're a lot of fun to watch and listen to. We're mm -hmm. educational. No, we're not. Truck you don't eating. think so? <laughs> I think we're educational. So stay tuned for my new uh <laughs> we're, about channel. Fake, we're about to fake news. <laughs> so all right, uh any other show yeah. Gina, we're not news. <laughs> Giant. Don't call me giant. Not you. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, we're going to get off here and get ready for our stream. So until next time, next Monday at 8 o'clock, uh, we will see you guys then. Uh, see you kind of educational. That's because. <laughs> thank you. I don't know why. It's just. Yeah, real. Thanks, J Balls. Yeah, thank you, brother. I'm going to post that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I'm you're not going to post your kind of educational. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm fine. I'm having fine with these buttons. Yeah. <laughs> these are, this is all, this is like a new toy. Here we go with the ADHD. <laughs> Edge location. Oh, Justin, nice of you to join us an hour later. But now we're <laughs> logging off because your ass slot him on. So we're done now. <laughs> I told you, but we're gonna be on at eight. Yeah. So all right, we're done now. We're gonna we're gonna get ready and, and freshen up and powder our noses for the next episode of mm. bourbon and <laughs> balls. Yes. Yes. All right, people. Until <laughs> next time, we will see you. Uh drink mallard. What the hell's mallard? Malort, fuck no. Malort, what's that? No, no. thanks, is Justin. That, what is that? Never it's heard of you. the most disgusting liquid you're ever. Literally, there's a lot of things I put in my mouth before it would be malort. That's not bourbon. You, Google it. All right, hold on. We're. I swear we're gonna log off, but hold yeah. on here. Let's let's do this. Real quick. Bye, Tracy. Let me know if I need to send some pickles to New Jersey. I'm gonna try this new little button I learned. Hold on. Present. Share screen. No. <laughs> Share. Not fresh bourbon. We want uh malort. M A L L O R T. What is that? Oh, alert. No. M A L L. No. There you go. Close enough. What the hell is this? The grossest thing you're ever gonna put in your mouth. I'm telling liquor. you. Liquor. This is not even real liquor, dude. You can get it. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a real thing. It's a liqueur. Thanks, Tracy. Yes, yeah, thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. Read I, it. I don't know what this is. Shut. Yeah, see, look at that. It even says in their own branding. It's not a drink for most people, but we're not. Most it's people. not. Ugh. There's a place in Dayton. I'm just going to name say, them. They're called, the, they're called the Barrel House, and they get a lot of great beers on tap. We've been on tap there. And they will get a bottle of this every year. And they're people. Oh, nice. They got three out of five stars. It's not. No. Mm. It is disgusting. Okay. Well, we're so not good. thank you, Justin. But uh, I'll bring some in. Yeah. You do that, we'll kick you out of our. Uh, yep, literally. <laughs> we'll watch you drink it, Justin. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Spray it to the tasting. <laughs> so oh, look at these buttons. Look at this. Oh, where'd that go? Oops. Look at that, people. And he's found a new toy. So. I did found a new toy. I'm trying to figure out how to get you guys in on here. But, you know, I don't know. All right. We're really going to. Hold on. Stop I have two oh, bottles in my curling bag. Oh, he's a curler. Like the. Yeah. 
Like mm -hmm. the broom game? He's like a professional curler. That's cool. What yeah. do you do in the summer months? He's from Wisconsin or some bullshit. Oh. Uh, they're, they really are summer months in Wisconsin. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's from Canada. I'm not sure. <clears throat> they're they're all about fortune. I am making shit today. up. I'm going to take this education shit off of here because Why? you don't deserve it. What's this? Christine deserves it. Yeah, there we go. All right. I swear to God. All right. We're off now. All right. We're, all right. See you, boys. Girls. Yes. Peace, love, and bourbon.